The Commissioner. It being 7 o'clock, I hereby call to order this meeting of the Kenmore Planning Commission. First item on the agenda is citizen comment. If any citizen wishes to render comment, please step forward, state your name, your address, and limit your comments to three minutes. Scott. There being no citizen stepping forward to render comment, we have satisfied this element of the agenda. The next item on the agenda is approval of the February 21, 2017 Planning Commission meeting minutes. Do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Do I hear discussion? There being none, we'll take the vote. All in favor of approving those minutes, raise your hand and say aye. 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 All opposed, raise your hand and say nay. All intending to abstain, raise your hand and say abstain. Motion carries. The minutes are approved. <coughs> The next item on the agenda is a public hearing for school impact fee comprehensive plan amendments. I invite to the presentation table the city staff. Good evening. So tonight's public hearing, as uh, Chair Nugent mentioned, is on proposed comprehensive plan amendments related to school impact fees. As you know, the North Shore School District has requested that the city collect impact fees on its behalf. Although the city council will determine whether or not impact fees should be charged, the city council assigned the planning commission the task of reviewing and amending comprehensive plan language related to school impact fees. When the comprehensive plan was last updated in 2015, the North Shore School District did not anticipate using impact fees for capital facilities improvements. In fact, language in the current comprehensive plan states that the district is not eligible to collect any impact fees for growth. Now that the district has reevaluated their enrollment projections, comprehensive plan amendments to the public services and capital facilities elements are proposed to update factual information and to acknowledge the possibility of impact fee collection. The proposed amendments set the table, that's a phrase we've used before, so that the city council is able either to approve or to disapprove the impact fees requested by the North Shore School District without raising conflicts with the comprehensive plan. After tonight's public hearing, staff recommends that the Planning Commission make final recommendations on the proposed amendments. The amendments would then be presented to the City Council later in the year after amendments associated with the Neighborhood Business Zoning Project are completed. All right. So. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Do we have a sign-in sheet? I think there is, but I'm not. No sign-ins, okay. Well, nonetheless, I hereby open the floor to the public hearing for the item on the agenda, School Impact Comprehensive Plan Amendments. I'll give yet another chance for anybody to come in and render public comment at this public hearing. Going once, twice. No one stepping forward to render comment. I thereby close the public hearing having satisfied that element of the agenda. The next item on the agenda is final recommendations on school impact fee comprehensive plan amendments. I open the floor to discussion and invite the staff to the presentation table. So I'm available if you have questions about the proposed amendments, otherwise it's your option to move forward. All right, again, floor is open. Any, any comments, recommendations regarding the proposed I'll, amendments? Mike? I think I'll start from where we left off last time. Seeing as we don't have any public testimony and at the end of our last meeting, we all seem to have consensus to approve the staff's uh, changes. I move that we do so, uh, make those changes final, and move this on to the City Council. Thank you, Commissioner. Do I hear a second for that motion? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? No discussion? There being none, we submit the motion to a vote. All in favor of the motion, raise your hand and say aye. 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 All opposed, raise your hand and say nay. All desiring to abstain, raise your hand and say abstain. There being no objections, the motion carries. The amendments are approved. 
All right. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. Oh. Unless? <laughs> Unless. <laughs> I, I actually have a couple of, of items. They'll All be right. very brief, and then we'll um, move to other tasks. Uh, one, I wanted to report back to you on the housing strategy plan. The city council met last night. Um, and this, that was their third meeting on the strategy plan. They met with you to hear your recommendations, then they discussed direct assistance strategies. Last night, they settled on uh, their direct assistance strategies uh, and endorsed your top four and endorsed the plan generally. Uh, they are going to move ahead uh, for um, this next year to look at strategies for preserving existing affordable housing. That was one of the top four, uh, which includes density transfers from affordable properties to areas where additional density has been proposed, and the notion of a manufactured housing community overlay. They were not crazy about the idea of an overlay, but the idea, those were examples, and we said really what we would be looking at uh, would be a range of options, ideas, um, uh, the kinds of things that would preserve existing affordable housing. So that is the item that will be on the Planning Commission's docket. You remember there was a placeholder for whichever the top strategy was. And so that will be in the second half of the year that that topic will come back to you. So I wanted to report on that. Then I needed to... Right. Yeah. If you don't mind. Was the City Council's deliberations or conversations on that in a public meeting or was that in an executive session? Oh, no, session? it was definitely a public meeting. It was a long meeting last night. They met with the North Shore Utility District initially at 7. So then at 8 o'clock uh, was the scheduled time to start the housing strategy plan discussion and there was a uh, significant community issue that resulted in a lot of public testimony. So if you wanted to watch the video, you'd need to start about 9 o'clock is when wow. they got to okay. um, the strategy plan. Yeah. So what about the, uh, you mentioned one, now what about the other three of our top four? Those still would be the top, uh, the top, the remaining three would be at the top of the strategy plan. So next year, assuming that they wanted to move, the council wanted to move ahead on the docket with another housing strategy plan idea, I assume it would come from one of those top three unless circumstances had really changed. Okay. And was ADUs one of the top four? Yes, one many. of your top four. Mm -hmm. It okay. definitely was. And they mentioned ADUs uh, uh, several times. I think um, staff's perspective was that the city already allows ADUs, so maybe this idea of preserving existing housing was more uh, timely. It was one of your other top fours, so I, that's why I think uh, they agreed to settle on that one. Okay. Anything else? Anything else to report? Yes. So, uh, April uh, 4th is your next regular meeting, and unfortunately that evening has been taken <laughs> by the City Council for uh, their final um, meeting with Peter Kagayama uh, the For the Love of Kenmore event. I don't know if any of you participated. There we go. Uh, last time around. But I have uh, a flyer. So there are two actions that we need to take. One is for me to hand out this flyer and encourage you to go on April 3rd, which is the community night for uh, the love of Kenmore. And then the other action is to formally cancel the April 4th meeting uh, because we won't have the room. And what we'll do then is on April 18th, I think it's the 18th, is your next regular meeting. That's the meeting where we'll start the neighborhood business zoning district discussion. All right, hand away. You can just hand it right now. Okay, thank you. Lori, is that a net new business district, neighborhood business district, or is that something that's no, existing? It, the neighborhood business district is actually, at this point, uh, maybe besides the single family zoning district, it's the only. Um, commercial zoning district in the city that the city has never taken a direct hand in. They've never looked, at, it's a, it was inherited from King County. It's a small, two small areas along Juanita. And uh, so this is the opportunity to, that would be then all of the commercial zones would have been updated from that original county adoption. Anything so, else? 
Uh, so if you want to move to cancel the oh, April 4th meeting. Do I hear a motion to cancel the meeting on April 4th? I make a motion to cancel the meeting on April 4th. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. Do I hear any discussion? Objections? All right. Uh, the motion's on the floor. There being no discussion, let's bring the motion to a vote. All in favor of canceling the meeting on April 4th, raise your hand and say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. All opposed, raise your hand and say nay. Anyone desiring to object? Or I'm sorry, abstain. Raise your hand and say abstain. There being none and no objections, the motion carries. The meeting is canceled. Anything else? All right. Any new business or items for discussion? All right. There being none, this meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you, everyone.